All right, guys, John, Chicken Ship Farms back again. They were looking at another tackle box. This is a tackle box kit. We picked this up at our local Walmart. This is actually by Flambeau, I believe I'm saying that right. Uh, I say everything in here is made in America, so we're pretty, pretty excited about that. You can see some of the things it says it's got here. Get that glare off for you guys. Uh, it's got eagle claw. It's got some yum baits in there. Thill, bullet weights. This is a two tray tackle box, which I actually do like two trays better than a single tray tackle box. So, very excited about it. Let's take a peek at the box itself. Some of the things it says, like I said, it's an all American fishing kit. It says everything in here is proudly made in the USA. It's a little bit about what it says is inside. Nice picture of a father and son fishing. And on the back here should be a breakdown of some of the things in the box. This will show you the box, the layout of the box, and some of the things you're going to get inside here. All right. Well, now let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, guys, we got it out. Uh, we're just going to take a quick look outside. I do like the two-tone look of this box. But I was a big fan of the colors of the Plano, too. It's a bad-looking box. I see some, some little imperfections here. Decent-looking box. Take a look in here. Oh, look at that. That popped off right off the get-go. Pop that back on there. Try that again. Okay. Well, I said the lid popped off as soon as we opened it. It does have a nice, fairly deep tray. I do like these. There's some things I like to keep right up here in the top. So, I so said the downside is, is these things pop off and get lost and break, and then, you know, this is useless, so... I said the Plano has some little small ones you really can't use for much. Uh, the little Eagle Claw from Flambeau also had a, a storage space about this size. Not bad. You can see right here. See it's popping up right there. There we go. Pop that back down. See, did it again. Right there. Uh, yeah. I would not call this a, yeah. See, every time you close it, it tries to pop off. It's definitely not a very high quality box. Let's bark. Imperfections here. Let's take a look inside. All right. Some of the things that come with it. Looks like we're going to get a, a guidebook for fishing. Fishing, small fishing guidebook. Well, this is another Eagle Claw, Eagle Claw kit. This looks a, a similar to what we got in the Eagle Claw box with a wide array of different style hooks and everything. We'll open this up and take a look at that. Lots of different types of weights here. We've got some egg weights here. Two of those. We've got a couple bullet weights in here. That's nice. And we have a, looks like a sorted size mouth. No, they're not. They're all, are they? No. Look like they're all. No, no. Yeah, it is an assortment size. Sorted size. Of, there's two different style sizes of split weights in here. So that's actually pretty nice. Let's see, it is a two. Oh, look here. Look here, guys. Look at this. What is that? Just some pieces left over of the mold or something. They just left on there. I'm not really sure what those are for. Not on this. Yep. Yeah, they are right there. Some there too. There's a two tray. This I do like the two tray. That's cool. It's got the dividers in a different color. So you can do the two tone here too. That's nice. That's a nice touch. Right there. Same style as dividers that were in the other flambeau too, they just divide the top up here. No small dividers for here or for this center one. Now 
we've got another bag. Looks like where we're going to find the rest of the stuff. Some thill bobbers here, which are kind of like your old quill styles. These are uh, these are pretty neat. I like these. Definitely a, a good bobber compared to the bobbers we've seen in these other ones. These are these are pretty nice. In two different sizes. This is a, definitely an assortment from Yum on a bunch of different stuff in here, so. so here you got some small, like little swimmer, little jigs. Uh, you've got a lot of different Senko style worms in here. Actually, you got four different Senko style worms. So like uh, four inch Maybe three and a half inch worms. Then you've got some six, like a pumpkin with maybe a watermelon flake in it. Here for your your uh, curl tail worms. That's it looks like a seven or eight inch worm. And then you've got these right here. Looks like a split tail worm as well. And those are also six. Six inch worm. We got some halfway decent bait in here from a good company. I make some pretty good stuff. Oh yeah, so you got your your plastics, no spinner baits, no spoons, no beetle spins, no inline spinners. Uh, you do have some better better quality bobbers. Nice assortment of weights. And a pretty good assortment of hooks here. So there's 30 hooks in here. Let's take a look at what's in here. All right. We got a large, looks like about a three yacht offset hook. There's only one of those in there. And you got the next size down, looks like. Or Oh, nope, you got two of those. Two of these hooks in here. You got two of the jig heads. Definitely, these are a lot bigger size than the than the ones we got with the Plano box. So it's just definitely better quality uh, tackle here. Uh, fairly similar to what we saw in the Eagle Claw box, but once it you got less box in the Eagle Claw box, but you had better tackle and you had it $10 cheaper so far than this box here. Oh. Got some bait holders, hooks here. It would appear we only have one of these bait holder style hooks there. This is two are what we we use for uh, catfishing some of our catfish hooks we use right here right there two of those a couple a couple of these small bait holder hooks for brim and things like that There's your other bait holder hook we were looking for right there. So you do have two of those. Ah. Now there's something we did not see in any of these other ones. Finesse hooks. Got a couple of finesse hooks. Very nice. Some more small brim hooks. Ooh. Here, looks like we're going to have some, yep, we're going to have six, and these are, these are decent size, these are definitely not your cheapo, these are some good size spinners, or 
swivels. Very nice. Very good size. Uh, we don't have any of the quick connects in here, but we don't really use them. These we do. So this is nice to see. Full of these. I have six of these small hooks here. Very good for uh, small mouth, yeah, crappie, things like that. Good, good hooks for those. And some more of these small bait hooks. I believe we had eight of these right here. And these are do have the the bait holder barbs on them, if you can see that. All right. And I said, and your fishing guide teach you what you're doing. But this is what you got in this in this kit here. You got some higher quality stuff uh, with the, especially with, you know, the better better assortment of weights here which was a step up so far all these boxes have been uh you got a good hook selection of hooks i really like seeing the finesse hooks in there i mean you only got two but at the same time you did get some and you do have some finesse um, plastics in here so that was really cool so you want to do like a wacky rig or something that's nice to see uh, two large, these are the largest of the offset hooks in any of the kits. So that was nice. So you got some decent tackle in here. Is it the $33 and some change worth? I don't know. That's going to be up, up, you know, to you guys. I said there was definitely some better quality stuff in here, but there was some good quality stuff in Eagle Claws too, so... Uh, the box is is not so great. Like I said there's a lot of uh, stuff that just really shouldn't be on there that they they left on there. And the top, I said everything else is fine. This does not work. I don't really know what's hanging it up here. I'm pretty sure I can probably trim that out and make it work. But you can see stuff like this here. Stuff like this here. It's just not very, the quality is not there. Uh, it's still a good kit. I don't, I said, I don't know if I would go this way or pick up one of the other two and spend the extra time on the stuff you want. That's probably what I would do. Well, I said, this got some good quality stuff. Definitely get you by and a bind. If this is what you see, it's not a bad, not a bad kit, but definitely could be better. Box is a big concern here. Uh, would like to see a few other things in here, but all this is quality stuff, and that's nice. Nice to see. Like I said, guys, we appreciate you guys watching our videos. Hopefully, this helps you out, gives you an idea when you see this stuff, what you're getting, gives you a good look at it, and then you can make up your own mind. We appreciate it, guys.